Hey, uh, taking another little break and uh, figured I'd show you something a little bit easier to digest than some of the other tutorials, uh, especially the Max for Live stuff. Uh, you, really useful tip inside of Ableton just when you're performing live. Um, there was a, a performance I did last year and I had this, what I thought was a really great little loop that I, I wanted to use and, you know, use it quite a bit and kind of overused it because I just, you know, got so in, involved in other stuff going on, I kind of just lost focus on that clip and it just played and played and played and played and in retrospect and seeing video afterwards I was like oh god you know I, I can't believe I had to play that long so um, just occurred to me today an obvious way to, to, to fix that or make sure that doesn't happen again is uh, through the use of uh, uh, follow-on actions with clips if you've never used follow-on actions before it's really really useful so let me show you something you know real quick example here like say I have this this thing going on I have this uh, vocal going, and maybe I'm, you know, hopping back and forth. Now, I, I let that one play, and I want it to loop, but I don't want it to loop forever. So check out over here in my launch actions, you'll see I have this follow action set to eight. So after playing for eight measures, I have this set to stop. Okay, so it will stop. <laughs> this way, uh, you know, I can loop it some bunch of times. I don't have to like copy out a bunch, you know, uh, forever and ever. But uh, it knows how to stop. And the same thing with this clip as well. If you look over here, I'm uh, stopping after four bars. And now listen to this. Okay, I also might want to do something. Say, okay, after four bars. Uh, I want to have it say fade out. Now, you'll notice that normally what's going to happen is uh, if I have this here and I change, say, something way out here in the, the fourth measure, the problem is I, you know, the, the the envelope and the clip are normally linked together. So if I trigger it, it's never getting to this fade out. So the way to get to there is by unlinking them, okay? And unfortunately doesn't remember it, but watch this, ready? See how this one cruises fast? It fades out. It's still a loop. something uh, a little different here. Fade out a little longer. Shift it around maybe. Alright, so I don't have to worry about it now. Uh, I can set up my loops to say, okay, no more than a certain amount of time using those follow-on actions. And then I can use the, uh, the unlinked envelopes in order to like you know, fade things out or add some interest in these otherwise shorter loops. Really uh, useful stuff and helps a lot, especially in live performance kind of stuff where you might lose track, get so much stuff going on. All right, so that's uh, the short tip of the day. And uh, tune in tomorrow. We have another tip. Uh, I'll try to do them at least, you know, every couple of days. And uh, take care and enjoy.